we are down at the Port Arthur Clinic and uh, Unifor is on strike. Andy Savella, what's the issue our readers and viewers need to know? Well, you know, there's a couple of main issues that uh, have us out here uh, this week initiating strike action. Uh, the first one being uh, the lack of permanent positions. So we've got about 65 women that work at the clinic and only about 14 uh, permanent full-time and part-time positions. Uh, and there's the problem is, is there's all kinds of hours for them to make more permanent jobs. They just won't do it because uh, it will cost them a little more. Some of the people might have benefits and whatnot. And uh, but you understand in terms of the workers that it's very hard to live on, on in a casual position where you don't know when you're going to be working, called in on a on an as need basis, have no idea what you're financial status is going to be so th that's a huge issue uh, for these women and and that's one of the key things they've asked us to resolve in this round of bargaining the second issue is the comp is the compensation package that the employer offered um, the the, fir the first year of agreement uh, out of their offer um, the majority of these workers work in a uh, in a department where they would only see themselves be ab about 50 cents above the minimum wage uh, this year. And actually these workers would see themselves fall two, two cents behind the legislation when the minimum wage goes up next year. So not only is their offer low, we think it's illegal, which is the first time I've seen that. Anyway, uh, anybody who comes down to the clinic and see the, sees the pace that these women work at and the skills that they do, uh, I think we'll, we'll wholeheartedly agree that they did be treated more fairly and get uh, a better offer than that from this employer. Andy, thank you very much. You're welcome.